Hey guys, I'm literally sitting in the Hobby Lobby parking lot. I feel a little better today. We're gonna go into Hobby Lobby in a second. Um, I'm gonna get the stuff for that wreath so I can try to work on it this weekend and get it mailed out to Veronica, my giveaway winner. And um, what else? I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I really love curbside and I'm a little, not bitter, but I'm almost like, uh, I don't want to go into the grocery store now that I've been spoiled by curbside, but the one I'm near does not have curbside and it's only a couple items. So I'm like, don't be lazy. <laughs> you know? Um, I, I do feel a little bit better today. I'm not like a hundred percent back to my normal pain levels, but it's like, and it, it's okay enough to get stuff done, you know? Um, so yeah, I had to laugh. Usually I don't talk about these kind of people in my vlogs. I don't like giving attention to like, I don't know, trolls or negative people, but I had to laugh this morning. And some of you guys with fibro will probably find this really amusing because I know a lot of people with fibro have gone through what I talked about yesterday. Um, because I've read it in support groups and stuff too, like other people have that issue. So yesterday I talked about um, that I've had people in the past ask me questions, like very detailed questions about my pain. And um, one of them is just this crazy person that likes attention. So she started telling everyone she had it, um, but she never told me. Other people are telling me like, did you know this person saying that they have fibro too or they have the same thing I was like what and it was like right after she asked me about it so um and then there's another thing which is people that so with fibro I don't take daily medication because it doesn't really it just made me feel gross it didn't help me as much with my pain I know things like Lyrica have helped other people but they didn't work for me so most of you know I deal with my pain I just kind of deal with my daily pain <laughs> and uh, when things get really bad like the past few days I would have taken a pain medication or muscle relaxer or whatever I needed at the time so when people have found out that I take like you know like for instance you know sometimes somebody will come visit me when I'm sick and they'll see that I have the strongest bike in ever that they have ever but that they make on the market and then you know somebody will repeat that to someone else or just however, I don't know how it happens, but people start asking me like, oh, my back hurts. Do you have anything for it? And that's a mistake I made a lot when I first started having, like getting medication for pain is um, people kind of took advantage of me. I, I feel like, well, they would be like, well, my back really hurts or I ran out of my Vicodin, like they're low Vicodin, they got for a surgery or something. Can I have one? And then they'd start asking me for more. And then I'd be like, no, I need my medication. They'd be like, oh, I'll pay you for it. I'm like, I still need it. And I only get a certain amount, you know? Um, <clears throat> so that became a whole thing. And this twat waffle, I'm just going to call it that. Twat waffle is my nice way of saying a see you next Tuesday, which is funny because I think Tuesday is this woman's name. Um, so twat waffle is my nicer way of saying see you in tea. Um, and so from the beginning of my YouTube channel, she has just been a twat waffle to me, like ugly negative comments. Just, she's just one of those negative people that like, I don't know. And I don't know why, like she's very clearly hated me since I've had like a hundred, not even a hundred subscribers. She, this woman has hated me. It's very clear. And yet she still watches me a couple years later. I don't get it. So, <laughs> um, it got to the point with her comments and I usually do this and people, what people don't realize is you can be blocked from a YouTuber's channel and you won't know because you think you're leaving comments, but really nobody's reading your freaking comments because you've been blocked. So you're just leaving comments for nobody to read, but getting out of your system, whatever it is you feel you need to get out of your system. I don't know. Um, so I never see it. Other people never see it. So from early on, I just did that with her. I've done it with a few other people that have left a couple of comments and I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Fuck you. Um, so I've done that with her. Um, and then more recently she started posting stuff on my Facebook page that wasn't rude. It was, I felt like I was like, okay, maybe she just feels like being nice now, you know? And, um, sometimes YouTube will mess up. 
and it will show you part of a comment they left that's like flagged but like nobody sees it but them but it'll accidentally show up your notification so I know she was still leaving like snarky ugly stuff so um <clears throat> pretty much I banned her a long time ago but then on Facebook which I'm blocking her on when I get off here uh she wasn't being horrible so I was like you know what whatever okay I'll unblock her then I get on today and she left some dumbass comment like, you really expect us to believe this? You're always surrounded by crappy people and people are trying to lie just to get your symptoms to get medication. Like they could just look it up online. You expect us to believe this? I don't know. It was some dumb fucking comment. And I was just like, what the fuck is this woman's problem? Like, she's so crazy. Like, I'll never understand why anyone that has such a distaste for somebody would sit there and watch them. It makes you look like, like, honestly, I like have people I don't like on YouTube and I just don't watch them. Like, what kind of demented life do you have to have to sit there and watch people that clearly bother you? Like, it's so bizarre. I don't know. I feel like people like that need mental help. But um, anyway, so she left that comment. I had to laugh because I know people you guys that deal with fibro and pain conditions know, any idiot would know you can't go into a doctor's office and be like giving the Wikipedia MedMD like symptoms, list them and then be like, this is what I have without being able to describe them. Like you can't go to a rheumatologist or a pain doctor and be like, I have widespread pain. I have this and that and list the symptoms. <laughs> I just can't. It's so funny. You just can't do that. You have to like be able to go in there and explain the pain. So <clears throat> I don't know. It was just the dumbest fucking comment I've ever seen. Um, I don't know. Usually I don't give these people like any attention on my YouTube channel, but I just like today I was like, well, lesson learned. If I block somebody, it's for a reason. We're just going to go on and block her on everything else. So I don't know. I just thought that was so, like, who, who would sit there and lie about that? Like, yeah, let me make this story up. Like, get real, lady. Um, anyway, so, yeah, we're going to go in Hobby Lobby, but I just thought I'd share that with you. Like, it's so funny, because she's like, you always seem to be surrounded by crappy people. I'm going to be like, yes, bitch, you're one of them. Like, <laughs> you're a prime fucking example. <laughs> like, I just can't even. So, <laughs> I had to share that with you guys. Because I know some of you guys, like, I believe even one time when I talked about it before, um, <clears throat> somebody even told me, like, I mean, it was a while back in one of my vlogs when I talked about it when somebody did that to me, um, when it had happened, they said somebody that they thought was their friend did the same thing to them and even, like, got to the point where, like, they were getting unemployment and stuff just to, like, stay at home and... And then they bought a wheelchair like that they didn't need and start wheeling around in it or something really crazy. Like, people are freaking crazy. They'll use it. They'll try to use it for disability and they'll also try to use it to get the pain meds. It just is what it is. So I don't know. I just thought I'd share that with y'all. A little taste of crazy that I let back into my life that I should never have unblocked. So we'll be making sure I block out everything today. But um, in case you guys that have started YouTube channels, because I know a lot of you guys recently have started your YouTube channels, if you get people like that, just block them. What happens is they will continue to think they're leaving a comment on your video and they'll be able to see it, but nobody else will be able to see it. It's called shadow banning. And um, so they'll just be typing their little mean, ugly things away and nobody will see it. You won't be able to see it unless by some like once in a while notification screw up and show you. But honestly, you shouldn't let people like that bother you because um, clearly they have no life. So we're going to go in here because people are looking at me like, who's this lady doing a lot of hand gestures and talking to herself? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's a pink ribbon she picked. This is the paper I picked and her V, and then I need to get some more white for an accent. But those are the colors in her wreath that I'm going with. We went based off the uh, chevron ribbon. Oh, <laughs> bird in the store. I'm in the store and there's a bird that keeps landing on every aisle. It's like it's following me, but it's really cute. I kind of feel sorry for it because I think it feels like it's trapped in the store. <laughs> uh, so I got what's going on over here my hair's gotten so thick with pregnancy I know it's all gonna fall out after um what's I gonna say 
Oh, I got a king cake at the grocery store. For those of you that don't know, it's kind of related to Mardi Gras and uh, Lent and, or Fat Tuesday, not really Lent. But um, it, anyways, so I feel like a lot of people in the South are familiar with king cakes, probably not in other areas, but it's mostly like very popular in Louisiana. And I know it's really popular in Texas but I have been waiting for them to put king cakes out. Waiting, they're so good. Um, but yeah, so they I finally saw them out and I was like, ah. Yeah, so I got that at the grocery store. I really like shopping online much better. And it's not even like the factor that I don't have to go in the store and deal with people. It's the fact that like when I do go in the store, I spend way too much money. I went in there for five items. Five, okay and I left $45 later so yeah I I'm just gonna stick to the online thing because when I get in there I'm like oh there's a coupon for this even though I don't really need what the hell ever this is for instance um, where are they I've been getting up in the middle of the night at like 4 a.m. every night and feeling like I need a snack because I just wake up like I'm starving so I don't really, I ran out of like all my snacky foods, like all my granola bars, all my protein cookies, like all that. So I saw these and I was just gonna get one pack of the Nature Valley one, but the store brand one was five for five. So I bought five freaking boxes of these and I only wanted one. I just wanted one so that I could um, buy like other little snacky things to have a variety. And that was like $1.98 usually. And I should have just bought one. I didn't need five. So I bought five. <sighs> I swear. And then what else? Yeah. Move the chair. I really wanted some Cheez-Its. They were two for four dollars. So I got two boxes of Cheez-Its and I don't need two boxes. Like you know what I mean? Like I see those deals and then I do dumb shit like that. <laughs> and I'm just like, what did I even spend $45 on? Toilet paper, paper towels, that, see, some cereal, some um, mini wheats. I bet the king cake was the most expensive thing, which I would never would have known about had I not gone in there. But yeah, I did not need to spend that much money. If I had done it online, I wouldn't have. But it was so silly to me to place an order online for five things. You know what I mean? I don't know. So, um, but yeah, there was a bird in there, and everywhere. I kept going, he would hop to the next aisle. It was so cute. I felt bad for him though, because I felt like he thought he was trapped and he, like he was trying to find a way out of the store. And one time I was able to like pull my phone out in time, but then he flew off, so I don't know. Cuddling your baby brother. So sweet. Hip -hopper. He's laying on Jackson. So I was gonna tell you guys, I took that little clip of Amber, or not Amber, of, well, Amber was in it too, but of Ralph on my belly. Of course, this stopped by the time I could reach my phone because I was like struggling and reaching to get it. Um, he was laying on my stomach, and Jackson would kick, and he put his head up, and he would peck, and then Jackson would kick, and he would peck. It was like they were playing a game. It was really cute. But of course, they stopped before I could reach my phone to get it on video. But anyways, I am going to shower, call it a day, some shower and go make dinner. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.